Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I'm Sir Couponut. And I am Mega Nintendo Wolf. And Let's I'm go. Jenny. And welcome to our collaboration of this fantastic game. So we'll just go in with a new game here. And we'll watch the opening cutscene. We'll be doing this multiplayer. There is three of us. So it's going to be a you know, free player game. Not four player. We couldn't find a fourth person. I just thought they didn't want to join. You could say it's a freeway. <laughs> I really like the song for this intro. I think it's like Kaze no Ne or something. Kaze no Ne. Yeah, whatever. Shish. Insert other earphone to hear things properly. <laughs> yeah, we've only got one earphone in so we can hear each other properly. Yeah, so Kubo Nut and Jenny have like split earphones, so one of them's gonna get sound effects, one of them's gonna get audio. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Has the lady started singing yet? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can hear her singing. <laughs> just I'm just, I've just got the guitar going. Bing, bing, bing. It's not important. Uh, oh my god, what are we calling our turn on? I can't remember. Oh, yes, I do. I remember now. I remember Shh, now. I remember don't say now. <laughs> You better. Okay, um, the characters in this intro are just, just a random selection, I guess, of the races you can be. But we'll get into that in a bit. This sounds so weird for red phones. So what's that character? He looks like a scarecrow. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that soon. Oh, I say. Final Fantasy do like its um, puppet type characters, don't they? They also like their boobs. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> and their birdies that are yellow. Chocobos, no. Mini there, chocobos. There are none of them in this game. What? There aren't, aren't there? No, there are no chocobos in this game. No! I've been fooled into this let's play of no chocobos! We we ride out we ride around on yaks, don't we? And I think they're called like Pompopomus or something. Oh, look out. I want my chocobos. He's so happy that little guy there. <laughs> I don't think his smile changes. I think it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> his face is an enemy, he's got evil smile. Is that little thing right there, Pop he has? <laughs> they're vegetables. Poppy. He had ladybugs. They're vegetables. The ladybugs are vegetables on their head. They're hooves. Hooves. <laughs> Don't you remember them? Hooves, the little no. kids program. No. It was on channel four, seven a.m. Remember every day. The Teletubbies. Moomins. Clangers. No hooves. You no, know, we could take the piss out of Japanese now, but we'll leave that to the end. We we'll leave that to the credits. <laughs> We're not Chuck Conroy. <laughs> we respect other cultures. And that Lottie's boob, um, whatever, Yuke's boobs are pointing. Um, this isn't a blind let's play, this is probably like a two thirds blind let's play. I've completed it, uh, Jenny has completed nearly all of it, and, and uh, Matt has, uh, excuse me, refer to me as the Great Wolf. Son. And Matt has completed, I guess, about yeah. a little bit more than half of the game. So. I, uh, we, we're not going into this blind. We are prepared for anything. <laughs> we, we have... Flash clip of two hours later. <laughs> oh my god, we're dying! Well, Koopo can show us the way. If I remember. Yeah, but don't forget his um, sense of direction is awful. My sense of direction is awesome. He, he does have very good sense of direction and he's very good at planning routes. So I will say that. By the tube. When you wanted to know which way the local bog was, you pointed upwards. You should explain what a bog is. Uh, well, I'd just <laughs> like to say the tube forward. is an underground, therefore if you want something like a swamp, it will be sort of upground. But we were outside and the only thing above us was clouds. I guess. Okay, come, let us record your adventures in this journal. It shall be known as the Crystal Chronicles, and that's where the name gets its get the game gets its name from. That's the one. But first, we must know the we must know the name of your hometown. It's gonna be one of them days. I can't read today. Okay, and um, we are calling this town. We sort of unanimously decided it. Uh, sorta. Of. It was two versus one. <laughs> so tough. In the town of Teapot to go of our British theme. Yes. Yes. Quite. We're all British. I didn't even check the spell. I hope I read that right. I mean, put it in right. Well. well 
I'm the one with bad spelling. We love it through and through, even if it's a little different. Okay, the morning of our departure was here at last. I tried to brace myself for the journey ahead. There was a field along the main road where we decided to camp until sunrise. Tomorrow we set out in search of her. Now, I know you have absolutely no idea what any of these terms mean, but it will all become clear very soon. Isn't Mer what the wise men brought Jesus? Yeah. Um, right, we got our little options menu here. Furries make Mer sounds. <laughs> What? We've got a diary, that's where we can read the things. Bring a friend if you want to import another character from memory card. Options, which we're actually going to change now, because I want to make sure text speeds on fast, if they even have that option. Uh, of course, there's your position markers. Yes, they're on. Sound effects. Yep. Uh, let me just put these all on enhanced. I'm not really sure what it does, to be honest. We've tried figuring it out, but it hasn't really worked. Save game, obviously, and set out. We're going to create our characters now. Now, before we create our characters, right now, we're just going to quickly go over all the races in the game and their strengths and weaknesses. Okay, here we have the Clavats. They use swords and shields. They're the average race with medium strength and high defense, but they also have high magic. They are able to use shields, which raise the defense a lot more than any of the other races' armor. Lilties use spear-like objects, even though I think they look a bit like axes. Uh, they have the high strength, though, despite being extremely short, like a uke's toe clipping. They have an average defense, um, which is kind of average and the lowest magic stat so don't try casting for the love of god don't try casting the selkies use rackets and have medium strength and low defense they have high magic and are very agile enabling them to charge focus attacks very quickly and their focus attacks also have very long range okay here we have the ukes the ukes have low strength and low defense but have extremely high magic stat they have terrible focus attacks, they don't use them at all, but their spells charge very quickly to make up for that. They're a valuable addition to any team, and their spells will rip the enemy a new arsehole. Okay, and with the races all fixed, we're going to go ahead and create our characters. Fix? You sound like they're going to be neutered. <laughs> right, so it's actually on, on, on our um, game screens, on our GBAs, because of... Scranch were stupid when they made this game. It is the best game on the, well, in my opinion, on the GameCube, but yeah, but we can't show you. So my D pad is sticky. Got, have they only got like capital letters here? Oh God, uh, I'm wrong. L and R to go. Use L and R to change it. So you'll just have to wait and see what characters and races we are because we're not even sure ourselves. We are actually going to be creating. Um, uh, lots of characters to fill up the village. I should say each um, each race has you know each each person can have like one of eight classes of family traits. You can be a blacksmith, a miller, a tailor, a fisherman, a merchant, a farmer, a rancher, or an alchemist. The best three are definitely alchemists, um, tailors, and the blacksmith. So if you only have three people, definitely make sure you have them. If you have a fourth, I'd probably say go for the um, merchant. Because that's another great one. In fact, Merchant's probably better than some of the ones we've chosen. But we'll be okay, so. I just like to say I was first for a change. No, that's because I, I fucked up. My character looks like a woman. Am I right? Mine is everyone like on the right characters? Because yes. it just goes wrong. Wow. Jen, you need to select yours. You need to press A. Oh. There I am. Yeah. Okay, now it's just going to do a quick rundown of each Four. character. Which, of course, we'll be taking it in turns <coughs> here. Do, do, do. It should be me first, but yeah, it is. Here we go. Here's me. And my scary. family of weirdos. We're so proud of you, Koopo. Today you set out with the Crystal Caravan. I'll be worrying about you. Do be careful out there. I'll never forgive myself if you get hurt. It's traveling fun. You have to tell me about it when you get back. Oh, the caravan. How exciting. May you return a full chalice of myrrh. We believe in you, Koopo. We still don't know what this myrrh is. They haven't told us yet. <laughs> I've told you, it's the sound of furries, mate, but they're happy to see you. That's her. Kupo, the alchemist's son, is sent off by his father, Elgo, his mother, Ardane, his brother, Heinrich, Heinrich, yeah, yeah, and his sister, Tels Telsiador. Wow. That's I have a very sense. ethnic family. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my character, Kupo, the Uke, male black mage alchemist. Today you finally step out into the world in search of Murph. You come safely back to Teapot, alright? Because I have tea for you. 
keep you find any materials for smithing, bring them back to us. We'll forget you find <laughs> weapons. We'll forget you find weapons. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of mother and father. Even though that's a woman speaking, I think. No, it's, right? the, it's, it's, your the, it's your old brother. I can't tell. All silkies look the same. <laughs> Selkie. <laughs> if you make any friends, if you make any friends out there, be sure to bring them round. Meet the family. Be sure to eat well. Don't worry, I will. Yeah, if you make any you. friends out there, what are they on about? All the friends live in the village. In well, Cheapot. Well, we might meet other people. Wolf the blacksmith's son is sent off by his father, Gilmu. <laughs> his mother, Wamsu. His brother, Ganu. And his brother, Denti. <laughs> See, I'm Gilamu. Miltank. Called it twice. Well, you've got Su and Nu and Wam and Gan. You're Korean. Oh. Yeah, oh. Selkies have very odd names. <laughs> they oh, are travelling people. I can't tell the difference between <coughs> male and female. Oh, good Except job it's not me, Selkies. Sure. The crystals glimmer last about a, but a year. The caravan must gather enough metal before it fades away, says Daniel. Oh, you know that already, right? Your father is just worried about you. I... Boy, I never thought you'd be chosen for the caravan. It should have been me, the firstborn son. Don't forget to visit, all right? Mother and father will really miss you. Don't forget to write. I have huge ears. <laughs> You're Zelda. No, they're not pointy. Jenny, the tailor's daughter, is sent off by her father Daniel, her mother Julia, her brother Ramsey. Call him Ramsey. <laughs> and her sister Minty. You're only missing Alan Sugar. No. <laughs> um. I think I'll sue us for that reference. If he does, then he's not going to get much. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to now create um, another batch of characters. Because if you go in the town, it's a bit. How should we say dead? Okay, so let's create more characters. Uh, right. Who am I even making here? Oh, I remember now. <laughs> now, we're going to have two of each race. So we're going to have a male and female of each. So This is just so we can reap the benefits of all the uh, family trades. Well, not that, because you can't really... It's just mainly for show. <laughs> and you can be... That one. I was looking for it, but it was spelt differently. There we go. I'm the second you. We won't actually be using these characters, but yeah, it's, it's just to make the place look nicer. Got the Wii's making dangerous noises. <laughs> I am a little too short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spell. <laughs> <laughs> that could be taken very wrong. Okay, uh, we might actually get much done this episode, but uh, we just have to get it out the way because it it will be a lot faster in more future episodes. Hopefully. Yeah, there's no towns really. You're leaving already. We'll miss you. Remember, no matter how hard things get, stick together, Romulus. What a name. There's more to the journey than gathering myrrh. You need to foster trust and companionship with others too. Don't you get sick from all the fine things to eat out there, Rosa? Oh, right! You better read my letters, bitch! Well, take care. Come back home safe and sound. Goodbye. Yeah, these people are weird. No one's really sure what they are. Rosa, the fisherman's daughter, is sent off by her father, Romulus. Her mother, Lash Shanwi. Isn't that the thing from Wait. Jackie Chan Adventures? Or something? Lash The the water thing the water demon i think no, so I don't know. her brother sebigias and her sister lurius lurilus oh god these people need to get rid of romulus is roman i know what is wrong with just george bob fred oh well Sam. you were the one who complained about legend oh. zelda how glass how everyone was named my, like my father was Doyle. called daniel uh. well it's time the teapot caravan <laughs> Is about to head <laughs> Sounds out. Sounds like a picnic. <laughs> it does. Strawberry shortcake too. Join us later. <laughs> Remember, everybody, count. We're counting on you. Oh, we're sure you'll find enough myrrh and come safe home, safe and sound. Don't go. 
The cows will miss you too. You're only friends. Farewell, Smurf, and good luck. And in case you can't tell, uh, Rosa is of course from Final Fantasy 4 and Smurf, well, we all know what Smurf, Smurf is. the rancher's son is sent off by his father, Migu, his mother, Shay, and his brother, Danach, and his sister, Mimi. They from free- Digimon. Yeah. Is it spelt that way? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> I'm not sure. <laughs> As our mills walk to will turn, so does the world, and now your journey begins at last. I remember when your grandfather set out with the crystal caravan a long time ago. You'll have a grand festival waiting for you when you get back. The mill looks so fantastic, I wish I could go with you. Why is Samuel well, wearing steampunk suspenders? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, Mill, lots of flour for you when you get back. Mm. You can make it into bread, you know, something we can use. Mama makes the best flour. William, the miller's son, is sent off by his father, Santana, that's a girl's name, his mother, Sharon, that's just about a girl's now, his brother, Welsh, his, his brother, Samuel. We should have these people be the farmers. Yeah. Sheep yeah. shack. I don't get what an ironclad lilty has to do with ranching. But... Or, or, or metal tits for fishing. We we Maybe it's a lobster cage. <laughs> Alright, we got two more to do. We really should name the female. Two more to do. Uh, okay. And this one is. You're doing. Oh, no, I'm doing the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> that was bad. You really should have named the female Yuke too, uh, too cold. <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't fit. Well, it, it would just look silly. No, I don't think it fits actually. No, it does. Damn, why can't I be using a keyboard? This is so hard, especially since I can't see. Is your D pad sticky too? No, it's not sticky. Why would yours be sticky? I don't know. It's You're about a girl. Yours is last and it should be sticky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I lend this to my brother sometimes. Uh, you'll have to select a character. You may as well select Jenny. Okay. So it won't work. I'm so excited. Someone's talking to me on MSN. They need to go away. <laughs> Me, the master of being interrupted while that's playing. Yeah, we've made sure he takes proper precautions this time by making him remove the phone from Vanilla? The Who came up with that name? Probably you did! <laughs> it was probably you. We needed a mill tank like <clears throat> character. Oh, so it was you? No, it wasn't. Okay, here we I go. just agreed with it. Well now, we've got one less help will come harvest time, but somebody's got to protect our crystal's glimmer, I reckon. That's right, dear. Without murder, the crystal would fade, and my yasm wouldn't go for so long. We'll miss you. I wonder if I could join the caravan too. No, you're about two years old. Oh, little kids dream of that. You may have a lot of travelling around. I don't even know who's speaking, but you may have a lot of travelling ahead of you, but we'll see you again in a year's time. Yachiru, the farmer's daughter, is sent off by her father Zat, her mother Jeez, Jeez, her brother Ted, and her sister Yana. I have a friend called Ted. Those babies hey. have no arms. They They're don't. plants. Do plants have arms? No. Well, They're branches. Only she gets plants when it evolves into gloom. Eventually. The day has come. It's not Every that old. Si- <laughs> I can't tell when it's boy or girl. It's a boy. It's a boy. Every single one of us looks forward to the coming of the murder. <laughs> Sounds like a play. Not just the murder, of course, will count the day until you return and that was die. A girl. Which I was about to say, but it's I didn't read it properly. Now this is a boy. <laughs> if you will find items of exotic or valuable measures, tuck them into an envelope and send them our way. So what if you find a giant golden sword? <laughs> Um, stick it in your pants and wait till later. Don't, don't come crying back to the village, you hear? Oh my god, it's the bitchy sister. We'll, uh, we'll all pray for your safe return. Take care. And so I'll you wanted her a boobs mil- jiggle. You wanted oh god, a mill tank character, so you made it the selkie because of her big boobs. Yeah. Yes. Vanilla, vanilla the mansion's daughter, she? is sent off by her father, Zihra. Her mother, Hafumi, her brother, Zagul, and her sister, 
Fuck you, Lou. Sounds Fuck like... you. <laughs> Fuck you. No, I just I thought it was going to sound a little bit like Lucy Lou, but... Okay. okay, we've created all the characters now. That took a long time. I'm sorry about that. So, now we need to select our real characters and head back into Teapot, because we need to explore. There's not really much we need to do here, but there is a couple of items we need to pick up. So, we may as well just go do that now. So, select your characters. Good old Sir Koopa Nuts backtracking. I can't help For it items. that my game's backtrack. Okay. You, do, you do miss a lot of things if you don't backtrack. Yeah, it is true. Especially. It's not that, it forces you to backtrack. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are in Teapot right now, I should say. We can sort of control each, uh, run around, but we sort of have like an area of how far we can run. And pretty much it usually focuses on P1. If you press select, it will make us go to our GBA menus where we can then press B and then enter our... If you press B, once you press select, it will let you go in your menus and sort things out. But you can't see that, so that's not important. So now, once Jenny's done with her menu, we can head into the town. Now we gotta check around because there are usually some hidden items. Let's just check over here. I think there might be one here. <laughs> it's yeah, Final Fantasy question. Nine all over again. No, there isn't many in this place. So here's the town. We got the merchant place here. We can buy shit here. No one's a merchant, so it doesn't really matter. Up here, we got a cow. What? The rancher. How can nobody be home? Because they're not active at the moment. Maybe. No, they should be here. Did someone not make a... F have we missed out a character? No, we did it right. Who's the rancher? The that rancher. would be the little Lilty and I made him. That's fine. Nah. I made him. Okay, well, him. for some reason they're not there. We'll come back later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my family here. Uh, at the moment there's not a lot they'll do for you. Uh, we can play with Magicide. Oh my god! Start playing with football. I'm calling it Bob! <laughs> Um, there's not a lot you can do Best with it. Friend. You can just kick it around basically, but anyway, let's go over here. Do only the alchemist do that? Yeah, only the alchemist, because they're alchemists. Um, this is Matilda's family here, the blacksmith. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to your family, Matt. Welcome home! I can't wait to hear about your adventures! Oh, Bring back materials you find. Yeah, the, it, only the dad really does something, but they won't do much here because you can't really simp anything. Over here is the village elders. Come back home and show us your smiles once in a while. Um, if you talk to this guy, he will show you the element map. Now, basically there are these stream, miasma streams that we'll come into later, but this guy will show you the elements of the miasma stream, and that's important. It's basically border control. Yeah. Um, actually, there is a hidden thing we need to do here and go over. We need to head into a little hidden um, area right behind this crystal. What? Which we still haven't even explained what these crystals are for. <laughs> but we can't really. I'm going to wait until a little bit later. So let's step inside. They're all over the world there are these hidden mog houses where if you have some friends you can play a mini game by collecting stamps from these moogles so we talk to him what's he say um that's right hey Jenny, let's, let's rob his underwear <laughs> koopo you don't have a stamp card let me tell you about mog stamps koopo we moogles are found all over the world koopo i know i'm one of them too we offer mog stamps as an incentive to locate and visit all our homes koopo <laughs> so you want noisy people knocking on your door <laughs> You'll need this stamp card to get mog stamps, Koopo. This stamp has 23 squares, Koopo. They're divided into sets of 1 to 3 squares of matching colours, Koopo. And there are 9 different kinds of mog stamps, Koopo. Each Moogle will stamp one onto your card, Koopo. If you collect a set of matching stamps, tell a Moogle who gave you one of these stamps, Koopo. Yeah, basically. So, if you get enough of them... No, they are used to play mini games. So it's a little, it's a racing mini game of caravans. It's dreadful. You're never going to want to so play it. So it's caravan But we're going to show it anyway. <laughs> Well, we can't show it because it's on the oh. TV. Oh. Oh. But we're going to collect the stamps to show where the mob houses are. Okay. It's a really bad racing game. It was designed by someone who's obviously never played anything that was Mario Kart so, made. Yeah, and so over here is Jenny's house. So it's basically oh. like four swords opponent racing, then. Where's my daddy? Yeah, dreadful. There's your dad. Jenny, I can craft you an accessory if you like. And that will oh. take you to a menu, made you shop him. But yeah, he's blank, she so haven't got any things. Oh. Up here, we'll have, if we come up here, there will be. There is definitely a hidden item up here, and I know this for sure. And the, the, most episodes won't be as long as this one, but we need to get all this done. I got it. Yes, a wheat seed. Oh my god, it's wheat! <laughs> it's actually completely useless for us. If you were a farmer, you could send the wheat seed home and... You would get one bread. Yeah, in a year they will give you loaves of bread, I think. Or maybe you send it to the miller, I'm not sure. You would. It's not worth it. Always be a tailor, blacksmith, merchant or alchemist. They're the best ones. Because they actually give you something useful. 
food is not that useful in this game. What about blacksmith? I said blacksmith. Blacksmith, alchemist, tailor, and merchant. They're the best four. I'm so running slower than anything. I should be faster. You're the same speed, but yeah. Okay, and that's all we need to do in this weird place, which apparently doesn't have a rancher. Which I just want to check that now because that is going to bug me. Did we even get a setup party? Yeah, we did. But seriously, why is Smurf not having a house? Okay, select your characters, guys. I have hair. I'm so happy. All right, let's head out now on our journey, only to be interrupted by a cutscene. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Do do do. This is going to introduce some very important characters. Hail, fellow caravanners! You are the caravan from Teapot, are you not? I heard they were sending out a new caravan. You seem quite capable. Really? We, we've only got four hearts. My name is Solaracht. I am captain of the caravan the Great Fortress at Alfil Taria. Our caravan boasts a history that stretches back a thousands of years. But let's discuss that some other time. You know, I don't like to toot my horn often. Stiltskin, do you have a moment? It's Stiltskin. What? Look. Still, this is the caravan from Teapot. Oh, what? Gee, Stills, can you sure put on a lot of weight recently? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has. Come on, say hello, Stiltskin. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Stiltskin. He may not look it, but he is a seasoned adventurer. Even we turn to him from council from time to time. I thought you were a great caravan. No, I'm just a little moogle that likes to get around, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I learn all sorts of things on my travels. Right I'm on my it. way somewhere right now. I can't tell you, but I can teach you a thing or two if you like. Yes, we're actually going to take him up on that, Wolf. Please accept. Ooh, uh, yes, teach me. Well, let's find a better spot, eh? So, so I see they had their own yak. If, if they're from a great fortress, probably a capital or, or something, surely they'd have something a bit nicer than just a caravan and a yak. Well, they got good knights. They look a bit more equipped than we do. Look, if you want to ask something, oh, you can. Look, if you want to ask me something, come here and press the B button, okay? Right, I'll just go over everything uh, quickly. I won't bother reading it all out. But basically, the world's covered in miasma, and if you continuously exposed to it, you will die. Basically, <laughs> crystals protect big towns and cities from um, uh, miasma. You see, crystals must be purified of myrrh once a year or they lose their brilliance. Crystal caravans will let you journey out to seek that myrrh. Drops of myrrh are gathered in the crystal chalice. Chalice not only carries myrrh, it also protects the caravan from miasma. As you can see on the chalice, there's a little crystal on itself, and that little circle round us over there is protection from miasma. Anything outside there kills it. Moogles and monsters aren't affected by miasma. The goal is we're going to go around, we're going to find myrrh trees, we're going to collect this magical water. Seek the water of life. Um, we need to. It takes three drops to fill. Um, a chalice of myrrh. Once you've got three drops of myrrh, you go home, purify the crystal, and then you repeat your life all over again. Great circle. Um, it takes two years to replenish the myrrh. Um, my asthma streams, actually, I'm not going to go over yet. It's not really important. Neither is crystal. Well, I'll go with crystal element. Basically, at the moment, our crystal element is fire, okay? Let me just pick up this chalice. It, fire basically gives us resistance to. It might be resistant to fire, it might be resistant to cold. I think it's resistant to fire, but you can change the chalice's element. Uh, with this guy by just putting on it. Now we have a water Oops. chalice. Uh, hang on, no one talks to the so It'll give us a water chalice. Now that I think uh, prevents us from water, uh, water things. If I take him outside, usually he'd die, but apparently there's a crystal here protecting us. So really, this chalice is completely useless. Now let's just go over some attacks. Uh, you have a, you just press A A. Uh, you can combo attacks with just keep pressing A if you time it properly, like that. Which is really good. That's generally the main way to attach. If you have focus attacks by holding A and charging up, you can focus attacks, which are more stronger ones. As a wolf is a selkie, he has he can charge focus attacks, uh, focus attacks quicker. Um, each one, each, everyone has their own defense command. The Ukes have the best defense, as you can see, because look, I just turn invincible. It takes a while to charge up, but once I'm in, once I'm that, I can just stand here and completely regenerate my HP over the long time. Unless someone picks me up and pushes me out. And uh, let's just talk to this guy again because I just want to show off some magic quickly. I don't want to talk about the world. Oh, dang it. Shut up, Moogle. We'll explain all this stuff later in good time. When we come across it. 
Yeah. Well, it's basically all explained anyway, Neil. But just, I just want to um, show the spells off because that's a really big part. Okay, casting spells. So we're going to be giving magic here now. Magic is I cast magic quicker, but has everyone else got magic? Come yeah. over here, look. So if you if we both stack the magic on top of each other, so everyone cast fire over here. Let go now. You'll make fire plus one. Everyone let go at the same time next time. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Okay, that didn't work. Um, I need to get the timings down. I'll let go now. Then you. There. This is really difficult. <laughs> go, Jen. There you go. If you let if you let them go with one second intervals, I believe it sets them on fire. Once they're set on fire, like enemies like that, they actually take double damage, so you can kill them easier. And that's basically all we're going to do for Sorrel. That's pretty much all that Rin needs explaining, really. You can do magic. Oh, magic boss! I want to just show that off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'll charge a fire attack onto Mattel. So Mattel's charged up a focus attack. Does it have to be on oh, yeah. over the enemy? All right. Go. There you go, flame strike. And it will set out a magic blast. So the magic person lets go first. Let's uh I'm charged first and then the selfie lets go. He ran away. The charge. So I'm basically the best one for charge attacks or Well you have generally the best focus attacks, and that's all there is, so now we're done. We can talk to Mr. Moogle and get the hell out of here. Yay! Uh, I know I'm not supposed to attack you, I wanna get rid of you. I'm done. I think this is a good time to name our challenge. Don't get to name the chalice. Don't hurt its feelings. It has feelings to me. What should I right. call it? We're leaving now. Um. That was a very mismatched tutorial, <coughs> but basically, yeah, we're going to collect Mur to save the world. The storyline of this game really doesn't matter that much. It's all about the gameplay. And our first ever dungeon is here, the River Bell Path. Next time on Let's Play Fun Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I'll see you guys then. Bye bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.